come to and is here in the Ronda to find an amazing collection of theatre and cinema organs. And the man in whose honour they were lovingly collected and restored. So, Paul, this collection is named after you. That's, that's quite correct. Uh, along with my friend Ben, we decided there was too many organs being thrown away or put into storage. So we decided here we could put this organ in, which we were able to purchase uh, as a starter, and we've collected other instruments since. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got a pretty comprehensive selection now. Larger, larger small instruments, both pipe and electronic. And uh, we've, we've obviously done a lot of work. The Presidium Arch came from the Opera House at Blackpool. It had one of their special shows one year. We were able to purchase that. And the Festoon Curtains. And uh, everybody, all our visitors, in fact, uh, seem to, to absolutely be astounded when they walk in. And you've had a wonderful career. I've been a professional organist for over 50 years, and uh, I've played in some wonderful venues, the Gaumont State Theatre at Kilburn in London. Uh, I've played at Blackpool Tower and, and Blackpool Winter Gardens, Blackpool Opera House. Um, the Summer Seasons at Skegness, Aberystwyth, Douglas on the Isle of Man, and the wonderful Villa Marina. And uh, it, it's just been such a pleasure doing something that I liked and people paying, paying me for doing it. Wonderful. <laughs> done very well out of the, the organ world, wanted to make sure that these instruments are preserved, so has set up the charity, Paul Kerner's Theatre Organ Collection, to ensure these instruments are safe for generations to come. It's probably the most varied and sort of complete collection of entertainment instruments in the country. Probably the most notable for local interest is the Hammond Le Fleur, which was installed in the Capital Cinema in Cardiff and it was installed in 1938, and it was one of the first pipe-less organs. Um, whilst it's not an amazing instrument in itself, the fact that it's survived all the years is quite important. In terms of the theatre organs, the Regal Edmonton Christie is, um, again, of particular note. It was made famous by Sidney Torch, who founded Friday Night as Music Night. It opened in 1934, and it moved in the late 80s to Barry Memorial Hall in South Wales where it played there for quite a number of years before it was felt not to suit the building anymore. And we acquired it from the American Theatre Organ Society. So we've given it a full restoration into its perfect condition as it is now. Uh, and it's not just about the musical instruments. No, that's correct. I mean, we celebrate all things cinema and from that era. We're very lucky to have acquired some light fittings from the Grenard Redmonton and the Empress Cinema in Sutton Coalfield. And also we've got an amazing model in the corner, which is an exact replica of the Odeon in Birmingham. Now, the Odeon is still standing, but the Odeon has been split into many different screens. And we have a model of as it was built in the 1930s, which has got uh, individual seats that tip up. And it took uh, Cyril Barbier 27 years to construct it. And it's an absolutely amazing model. There's um, uh, cutlery on the tables in the restaurant, projectors in the projection room, and there's even toilet paper in the toilets. It's an amazing model. And can people see, come and see? Absolutely, yeah. We have quite a lot of uh, group visits where we'll have a coach party or a pensioners group that will come to enjoy an afternoon of music and entertainment. Um, but we also have public concerts where people can just enjoy a, a presentation on the instruments. The type of music and the genre of music they play and the, just the general ambience of the place means people tend to leave with their toes tapping. And we love to see the faces of the people, our people that come and listen to the organs and uh, they always go off happier than when they arrived, which is what it's all about really.